This episode begins with spider monkeys swinging over the buildings and hiding from someone. It is revealed that the one chasing him is Sunder, who has come for the Omnitrix. He asks Ben for the Omnitrix, but Ben claims that he has never heard of it. However, Sunder's Omnitrix tracker tells him that Ben is lying, and he is determined to take the Omnitrix, planning to sell it. Sunder captures Ben in a net, but when he tries to make his move, Ben transforms into Humongousaur and breaks free from the net. As he begins to fight with Sunder, the Omnitrix times out, and Ben reverts back to his normal form. Sunder strikes the Omnitrix, sending Ben to an abandoned place that is revealed to be the Null Void. An alien creature attacks Ben. When Ben tries to use the Omnitrix, he realizes it's missing, and his hand is gone. Ben's hand is shown to be in Sunder's possession, who keeps it in his hoverboard and flies away. Ben fights with the alien and defeats him, but can't understand what is happening. Ben's hand escapes from Sunder's hoverboard, but Sunder catches him. However, the hand somehow defeats him and runs away. While running through the streets, Ben's hand is chased by a dog. As the hand moves, Ben's body moves along with it. The hand eventually escapes from the dog and climbs a tree, where it spots Julie practicing tennis. The hand decides to seek her help, but is caught by the dog just as it's about to approach her. Meanwhile, Ben is being chased by some vulpamancers and can sense that his hand is in the dog's mouth. He enters a lake and hides behind a rock to cover his scent, evading the vulpamancers. Two kids offer the dog a chocolate and they get the hand. They accidentally activate the Omnitrix and turn the hand and Ben into Big Chill. As Big Chill, Ben freezes the Vulpamancers, but they break free, so he turns into Swampfire to block their way with fire. Meanwhile, Ben's hand transforms into Swampfire's hand, scaring the kids away. Ben then transforms into Jetray and flies away from the Vulpamancers. Ben's hand approaches Julie and grabs her leg. Julie gets frightened and starts hitting the hand with her racket, causing Ben to lose his balance and revert to his normal form. Julie recognizes the Omnitrix and decides to take it to Kevin and Gwen, though she's hesitant to touch the hand, so she puts it on her racket. Meanwhile, Ben is grabbed by a Null Void alien. When Kevin sees Ben's hand, he laughs leaving Gwen and Julie worried about Ben's situation. Kevin points out that Ben is in another dimension, but assures them he can bring Ben back and tells them about a similar experience he had with his nose being sent to another dimension for three hours. He begins constructing a device to initiate the process. But Sunder suddenly appears. Gwen and Julie keep him busy while Kevin works on bringing Ben back. Ben manages to escape the alien's tentacles but falls off a cliff. Gwen and Julie struggle to deal with Sunder, so Kevin punches him. Kevin and Gwen argue over which alien Ben's hand should be transformed into. Gwen says Humongousar, but Kevin says Swampfire. Ultimately, Julie transforms the hand into Diamond Head's hand and shoots crystals at Sunder. Meanwhile, Ben's hand also fires the shards, causing the bridge to break. He falls but turns into goop and lands safely on the other side. He reverts back to his normal form, and his hand also returns to normal. Sunder attempts to grab the hand, but Gwen and Julie toss it to each other to delay him. Meanwhile, Ben struggles to move, but when he reaches Max's place, he discovers that there are aliens. Frustrated, Sunder grabs Julie and demands the Omnitrix. Gwen agrees to give the Omnitrix, but Kevin intervenes and strikes the Omnitrix with the device he was building causing Ben to return. However, Ben's hand remains missing. Sunder tries to attack them, but his axe stucks in Kevin's car. Ben asks Kevin what is happening. Kevin tells him that with the combination of Sunder's axe and the Omnitrix, it caused the dimension exchange. The solution is to reverse the reaction, is the device from which the Omnitrix was attacked, which is Sunder's axe. After releasing his axe, Sunder demands the Omnitrix, but Kevin says that they don't have it. When Sunder checks his scanner, he believes Kevin. Kevin offers Sunder another weapon, keeping him distracted. Gwen tries to take Sunder's axe, but in the process, one of the aliens uses the Omnitrix, transforming Ben into Brainstorm, and Sunder's scanner detects the Omnitrix. Ben fights Sunder and manages to defeat him by transforming into Humongousar with the help of Gwen and Kevin. He then turns into Echo Echo and creates clones to fight Sunder. During the fight, Gwen takes Sunder's axe. When Sunder attempts another attack, Ben and Gwen combine their powers to defeat him. Ben reverts to his normal form, and Julie points the beam at Ben's hand, while Kevin strikes it with Sunder's axe. Sunder wakes up during this process, so Gwen takes the axe from Kevin and hits the Omnitrix. As a result, Ben and his hand are restored, but Sunder is trapped in the Null Void in place of Ben's hand. And the episode ends with this.